Hey, welcome to Game Suit. My name's Joe. My name is Ed. And we're checking out a game called Ikeda, the Scrap Hunter EP today. It's a game by Trent Kaniuga, who is an artist that I've been following on YouTube. I've only watched a few of his videos so far, but uh, I found his videos to be enlightening and helpful as an artist, and I wanted to check out the game that he released. He's also working on another game currently. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if he has a title for it yet, but anyway, we're going to get into it right now. And we also had another thing that we wanted to talk about at the top of the show. Uh, this has a story. We're actually going to skip the story because we're, at, we're about gameplay here <clears throat> on Game Soup. Yeah, our time is limited. And we wanted to talk about something else at the right. top of the show. We may be considering changing the name of this series. A Wild Game Appears? We may be considering changing it to Game Design Critique. <laughs> what do you guys think about that idea? Do you think that it is slimy at all to call it something like that? Because you might be expecting something scripted going in with the words game design critique. Or do you think that it's more descriptive of what we do? Mm. Ed is in the first camp. I'm in the second camp. I think it's actually a really good idea to change it. I can see it both ways, but Because yeah. I, I think it's more descriptive of what we do. That is true. These games are not all that wild. Mm -mm. <laughs> some of them are pretty wild. Some but of them are very all of them. Are generic some and very... Are, yeah, some of them are generic. Some of them are very mellow. Some popular. of them are just cool. Some of them are popular, yeah, not wild at all. So, okay, there's... This art is crazy, though. Yeah, the art's really like, awesome. I that's, get it. That's, um, I think it's going to be a big draw in this game. This is also free to play on Steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Isn't this the beginning of Super Metroid? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think she just lands on that. Okay. The Javelin's engine's a yeah, commission. So hopefully there wasn't anything too important in that text. Uh, a lot of times we do read... We do read the text, especially if we're going to LP a game. But this one, we're just going to give a we're just giving a quick look. Well, look Ooh, at the oh smooth. Yeah, the animation's really smooth, but I feel like the character should be moving faster for the amount. It looks, it feels like he's like on ice, kind of. Not yeah. not that the acceleration is slidey at all, but because the animation is going so fast. Yeah, it's because he's really small too. Yeah, the animation's moving faster wow. th than than the character. So the animation's probably the animation should probably just be slowed down. I think that would that would work, and it would it would still look pretty smooth, I imagine. Oh wow. He might have tried it though, so. But yeah, it's got wall jumps, so it's got like ninja type controls. That's cool. All right, uh, no double jump, not yet at least. Uh, is there an attack? Uh, not yet. But I did see in the tutorial that there was a button for attack, so there's definitely going to be something. All right, so we just got some wall climbing going on here. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. It is a Meat Boy clone, as far as I can tell. Uh, Iggy, there's no way that you can make that jump. Okay, not with the current equipment you have. You're gonna have to come back later. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're being watched by um, in Metal Gear, Metal Gear style. All right, so we can't make that. So obviously, there's gonna be probably a double jump, possibly an air dash. Does it, do you get abilities in Meat Boy too? Do you gain them as you play? I don't think so. Meat Boy doesn't have a whole lot. Meat Boy, I think it's just wall ride and jump. I think that's pretty much it. You've located a level one key card. You should be able to access doors. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Okay, you so we got back. a key card. Uh, head back. Well, we'll go forward. Well, there's a one. Oh, there's yeah. a door there. That's what you want to get. Yeah, let's sure. just let's just go in the door. Let's just do what they told us. Holy. Okay. Yeah, that, you just got to stand on the right yeah. side there. I think that's probably timed. I wonder why. We press up to enter. Is that the case? I'm pressing up. Oh. Oh, you have to hold. Oh, you have to hold it. That's actually fine because you don't want to enter it by mistake, right? So if there's a case where there's doors and combat at the same time. I guess so. Uh, let's try and get this. Yeah, okay, we can do everything. Speed Whoa. increase times two. So now okay, now the, now the oh, animation matches. Yeah. Okay, yeah, forgive me. Yeah. Oh, you die when you do that. Okay, I thought I actually thought we could go down there. I thought I didn't realize this mm. was a pit. Okay. I actually thought that was going to allow us to go down. All right, Man, but look at that the punishment is not very large, so that's really not a problem with the game design. That auto animation has so many frames. Yeah, is the the character's not three D, is he? It's almost That's hard what I to tell. Thinking. Yeah, he I, almost looks. It almost looks three D. It's, it's but he might just. He might just be really well drawn. Tell. It's yeah, hard to tell it's so, it's so tiny. Yeah. yeah. I think. That, yeah, the character probably has to be pretty small for. Duh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we can actually make this jump. I feel like we probably. I feel like we probably can. I don't think there are any penalties for dying. Right? So, yeah, I think I think it just restarts you at the yeah. beginning of the room, so that was gonna be too late. All right, we're gonna try one more risky jump. We're gonna jump real late. Okay, we're gonna actually make the jump and jump. No, I don't think we're gonna be able to make All it because right. I'm. I think it's probably not meant to be made, but it's so close to looking like it's meant to be made. So I wonder why this game got released. I mean, that's a dumb dumb thing to say, but I wonder. Is it a complete game? 
Uh, I think it is, yeah. Is it? Okay. I mean, because it was free to play, did, you know, did he design it, he or she, knowing that it was going to be free to play? And, you know, I have a lot of questions about how this how this was developed. Uh, I think he made it because he was trying to, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't trying to make money off it. He was just trying to, to get his get his chops on designing and releasing his own game. Gotcha. So that, I mean, essentially what we did with Inferno Racket, right? So as long as we're not playing somebody's um, Construct 2 clone, you know? No. Tutorial clone, which is you know a thing that people. You know. no, I think I think this is this is leagues ahead of something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. But I think I think he probably like so far. I mean, just just with the graphics alone, he probably could have charged charged like a, a few bucks at least for it. But I understand going in with the free to play um, with the free to play model. There's also a supporters tier where you can pay five bucks if you like the game. So doing it that way, you're going to get a lot more people in the door. And also, if you want to get a lot more critiques of a game, it's better to make it free. Yeah. You're going to get more, you'll get uh, more people playing it, more people will see it, and you'll get more reviews. So, that's, there, there's benefits all around, and especially if you don't need the money right away. All right. Facility on site. I'm just reading it real fast yeah, to yeah. see if there's anything important. Okay, so this Ooh, is a tele cool. teleporter, or a save point, maybe. Oh, it's just Eight. the level. Complete. Okay. Okay. So that's just the end of the level. I don't even know if that needed an explanation. Hmm. All right. Okay. So we got 11 out of 15 coins, 76% completion. That sounds about right. Okay. Whoa. So we've got a node map here, which is, we call these node maps. Let us know in the description if that's correct. We played the new Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge recently. That's going to come down. Oh, again. nice. And they did show it to us without brutally killing us. So that's not Meat Boy style. Meat Boy style, they usually show you how, how things work by killing you. Well, they didn't show it to us, though. They, all, all we saw was that it exists. I didn't know it was going to crush you. Did you? I saw I mean, I saw the spikes, and I figured it was probably going to... Oh. I figured it was probably going to crush me, and it was probably going to kill me, but, you know, it's a... It's, with this kind of game, you, you expect that you're, you're going to learn by getting killed. Yeah, that's true. All right, remember there was a door there. Oh, yeah. There level was two a door, level right? two door, yeah. Also, as far as critiques go, the most obvious one is that all of these things that drop razors don't drop them from the spawn point where they're supposed to be. They don't? I mean, look, they're getting loaded here. Yeah. And then they just appear oh, there. Oh, yeah, they appear yeah. immediately below. Yeah, they don't just drop out. Yeah. I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. Yeah, yeah. Of course, that's... but... I mean, if you're looking for... I mean, you know, holy... How your game presents is... Uh, <laughs> it has a lot to do with yeah. whether or not people enjoy it. Even if it's not the case, even if it's not true that it makes the game less fun. Okay, I think I know. I think I know how to time this. Yeah, it does have a Meat Boy feel to it. It's just you're just trying one room at a time. Fuck, you're just trying one room at a time. Can you um? So there, there's timers on those platforms. It's like the Mega Man ones. I bet. Can you stand on it for three seconds? You yeah. can, but well, it's very, not quite three, three very but, short seconds. Yeah, it just counts down to yeah. three. So yeah, this is yeah, yeah, very precise. So yeah, you gotta time it just perfectly. What? Did it just open the door to the right? I think it did. Fuck. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, it's closed again. Yeah, it gave me the the coin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that doesn't actually kill you. Uh, that's fine. Okay, that looked like I got hit. But yeah, I'll take it. Those trails don't have hitboxes, which is a good thing. Okay, so we just got to do a couple of short oh, hops yeah. here, nice. and then we just get across. All right, we did it. We did it. Difficult platforming. It's a genre. Oh. Oh, I just remembered there was a game we should play. Uh, okay, we play it after this. Yeah, we should. It, okay. it is a wild game though, but we're gonna call it game design. No, I don't know. We don't. Have Are to. we gonna call it game design critique? I don't let's know. talk about this for a few episodes. Let's, yeah, let's, no, we should. Let's yeah. talk about it the, at the top of a couple episodes so yeah. we can see if people like the idea for a wild game appears. And it's not gonna change. We're gonna. It's not gonna change the series at all. It's just a name, a name change, and we're gonna keep the same wild game appears playlist. We're just gonna rename it to game design critique, and all the title cards are just gonna say <laughs> all the titles and title cards are gonna say a wild game appears instead of game design critique. Yeah, we would never we, try to hide this. We've yeah. done well over two hundred episodes of yeah, a wild really? game appears. Yeah, wow. we're on like number two hundred. and This is probably the two hundred twentieth one or something. We've done a lot of them. We've played a lot of video games on this channel, believe it or not. Been I like, would believe it because didn't we hit a thousand episodes not long ago? Or maybe it was long ago, actually. No, we have, we don't have a thousand episodes. We don't. We have seven hundred, I think. Oh. Or maybe okay. seven fifty, something like that. I think I would know. You know. Yeah. Last time I checked. Woo. We definitely don't have a thousand yet. I'm looking forward to a thousand, though. We're definitely gonna have a thousand episodes on this channel. A thousand videos at some point. Maybe for a thousand, we can do. Um, we can release one of those old videos that we have that we never, you know, that we have in the, in the 
in our pockets ready to go. Yeah, we should do that. We, have a, we have a secret LP. We have an entire LP that we did in secret. Never released. Oh, yeah. It's actually really funny and I good. Forgot. I wish we probably should have released it. That was really... We can still release it. There's, in fact, maybe there's no reason not to. Yeah, there's not really any reason not to. Okay, so... Yeah, this is really Meat Boy-like. Yeah. The control's a lot less slidey than Meat Boy, which I kind of like. This particular part reminds me of uh, Celeste a lot as well. Which yeah. I guess, you know, is probably also based Duh. heavily on Meat Boy, right? Am I missing something here? Yeah. I mean, no, you're not. Because there's no double jump, I don't think. Can you just... That's what you have to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. just loop around. Yeah, that's a very and common And just move. made a noise. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I drew so a like, circle yeah, with that's, my finger it's, and went... It's, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious what yeah. Ed just pointed out to me. I should have noticed. I should have figured that out. I probably would have figured, figured it out, out, but I'm not quite as quick as Ed. And also, I don't know, our time is valuable, that's all. Yeah. No, definitely. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh. I'm glad that the punishment is only that you have to go, <laughs> yeah. go back one screen. And if you're going for the, the, the super clear, if you're going for the, the perfect clear of a level, then you should probably already know that, that this room is going to have the razors right in front. Although, maybe you could just put the razors back a little bit. Or you could just put a block in front of the first razor so you don't always automatically walk into it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We can get oh, the yeah. there coin that way, though. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see those. <sighs> I'm looking at the ones I, was, I, I just got past to describe how I didn't yeah. see those coming, and then yeah. I get crushed by the one that's directly above. But you know what? I'm not even playing, and I didn't see them either. Because yeah, it's, they're, it's, they're very uh, far from Trial me. and error is, is part of this genre. Mm. I mean, arguably, that's the whole discovery part of the game is just dying over and over. You know, it's like Dark Souls in a way, you know? You don't learn much until until you die from it. Yeah, I mean, you might even call this a Souls-like. This is absolutely the first Souls-like that was ever made, I think. I think this Meat is... Boy? This game is the Meat Boy of Dark Souls. Souls-likes of Dark Boys. Oh, fuck! I knew it was fucking there! I fucking knew it was there, and I... Okay, that's definitely that's my right. fault. That's You'll definitely my fault. The soul darks of boy meat. Boy meat. Boy meat's world. <laughs> you ever hear somebody say, I thought it was called boy meat's world. Like, his name is boy meat? That makes it even funnier. I've never heard anybody. Oh, you've that. never heard that? Isn't it funny, though? I guess it is. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I laughed. Just kidding. I, I didn't actually laugh. Uh, roll back the tape. We're going to hear... We're, we better see if you actually laughed or not. If you didn't laugh, uh, we're going to have a problem. There's also new music in this game, I just noticed. Yeah, it's just ambient. Yeah. And there's some interesting frame timing issues, or I guess just generally frame rate issues. Ugh, oh, fuck. that sucks. Oh, oh, I was trying to... You don't yeah. even need to get it, though. I think it's just to get the green coin. Yeah. That I think sucks. it's just to get the coin, yeah. Because if you miss that jump and you start wall sliding, you're already dead. You just can't do anything about it. Because you were just going to get crushed either way. Yeah. You said to crush him, right? Should we just not even go? Let's just not even go for the green. Um, let's yeah, just not even go for it. How do you? Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, all I know it's there. Corner. Well, it's there every time. I know, I know it's, it's there every it's time. It's crushed me four times now. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's game soup. It is. But also, they're up there on the ceiling. I don't know. I think we have to get over here and press the button. Oh, yeah. I think that's the case here. I think that's what we gotta do. Once we hit that button, I think the hard part should be over. All right. So this game is a bizarre combination of art styles. The main character is really smooth and very fluid, and the background clouds are pixel art. Yeah, and, actually, I didn't notice that. Yeah. And yeah. The, the razors are, they look like, um, what am I, like vectors or something? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, oh yeah, because yeah. you can go out the orange door at the yeah. bottom. Yeah, yeah, I saw that that Whew. disappeared, but I just decided to go back the way we came. Yeah, I was fooled. Ugh. If I would have thought about it for a second instead of thinking about the clouds in the background. Sorry. No, it's not Ed's fault. I was, you know, we got we got to analyze everything about these games. Well, we have to now, especially if we're changing the name of the series. Yeah, yeah. We have to. We have to. Now we're stuck on... Now we're stuck. We can't tell goofy stories anymore. We have to only do game design critiques. Yeah, we're that's never... That's not true. No, that's no, not true. That's, that's not true. Yeah. Well, we, we, we did already say we're not going to change anything in the format. Can we give it an even juicier name, even if it's slightly slimier? We should We should call it... Master's, uh, Master's Critique. <laughs> Something like... We should call experts it... Expert's Critique. Two experts. We should call it fully scripted game mm. design analysis by Mark Brown. By yeah, written yep. written by Mark Brown. Yeah, we'll change the name of the channel to Game Maker's Full Kit. 
to trick everyone into watching it. We'll be like those guys that do uh, the Bitcoin videos on YouTube when they put clips of Michael Saylor on there. Yeah, and we're actually we're actually starting a new a deal. This isn't a scam. It's oh, a deal okay. where. Uh, if you send us a certain amount of Bitcoin, we'll send you double the amount right. back. I forgot we did start doing that. So just make sure you leave your address yeah. in the comments. If you send and us... also send Bitcoin to yeah. the address in the comments. Like, if you send us five... No, are we allowed to legally... I guess we're allowed to say this. Well, yeah, because we're but... not putting a Bitcoin address in the comments. And we're not actually doing it. And it's clearly oh, yeah. a joke. And we... it's clearly those are how the scams work. We did take out the Bitcoin address that used to be in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> okay, I, I took that off a long time okay, ago. Okay, good. Yeah, don't... Don't, don't actually send us Bitcoin? Yeah, don't send Bitcoin to that address. Um, well, don't send Bitcoin to any address you find on YouTube. Yeah, unless, I mean, it could be a donation address. That's yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But you know you're not getting it back. You know you're donating it to to the channel. I think we got one Bitcoin donation ever when we used to ask for donations on the channel. Which I get it, you know. I, what's that? Oh, oh that's the key card. card. So if you go all the way back. No, oh, we're not doing that. We're not going all the way back. Through that, left, through that no, previous room? No. no, thank you. No thank you. Man, that took way longer than it should have. I apologize for screwing that room up so many times. And thank you for still being here. All right, stage three. Oh, we just got to hit that. That shouldn't be too hard. All right, first try. Well. Yeah, these kind of games do take a lot of concentration. Yeah. Okay, I did see that one. I'm trying to concentrate on this level. I'm actually going to try really hard at this level. Okay. Do you believe me? I do believe you. I think you've tried hard every time. I believe in me. Yeah. I, I, I believe you and in you. You don't fall off the wall when you're you when you're doing a wall slide. Yeah, mm. if you let go, you don't fall off the wall, which can I you, sort of like. Can you push left to fall off? You can't, right? You can't, actually. You're just permanently stuck to the wall until you jump. Are you permanently stuck to the wall? I think that's the case. We should test it in a safe area. This is... <laughs> yeah, where the fuck are you going to find a safe uh, area? All right, when we find a safe area, let's let's mess with the wall ride. Yeah. Because that's actually relevant. We have a wall ride in our game, and it doesn't behave in, in this way. Although at some point, it probably did. Probably, yeah. We've it's, gone through a lot of iterations. It's behaved in almost every way that is reasonable. And many that are not reasonable, actually. So, all right, this is safe enough. There you so go. So can we get off the... Oh, we can. If you, we can. if you hold left, you just have to hold it for about... A quarter of a second. Oh. What if and you you'll, and you fall off? But if you push nothing and you still wait a quarter of a second, nothing happens. Yeah, we just do nothing here, right? Okay. This I is see. pressing nothing. Yep. So pressing nothing, 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 and you right. just slide down. Um, now I'm gonna hold left. We yeah. fall off, right? I'm gonna hold right. Well, you hold right, you stick well, on yeah. no matter what. That's but, like Mega yeah. Man X style. You press jump, you jump off, obviously. What this needs is, I mean, I guess not for this game, but in any case where you can hold left to. To eventually leave the wall, you'd want to change the the animation, give it a different frame, or or give it yeah, some sort of effect. Yeah, maybe put an animation on there. Also, I mean, because I can't tell just by looking at. It. I don't know if you're pressing left or like you're not I think getting just any pressing input. Pressing left should in instantly take you off the wall. I don't think I don't think it should have a delay. Because oh. if you're pressing or yeah, if you're pressing the opposite direction of the wall, we should say. Because if you're on, yeah. on a left wall, you can press right to get off the wall. I think I think it should just drop you off immediately. Because when when are you gonna when are you gonna want to drop off a wall? You, you're gonna to want to drop. You're you're making the decision to drop off the wall. You're pressing away from the wall. You're never gonna press away from the wall unless your decision is to drop off of the wall. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I think that's right, but you're you're probably at least not yet. We're not doing any kind of uh, any kind of combat where we would be holding onto a wall and then we would have to jump off the wall to do a dodge. So if there's never a point in the game where you are gonna to want to quickly detach from the wall. There's never a point in the in if there's never a point where that's going to matter, then it's probably better to leave the delay on because then the um, the player's not going to accidentally at one point drop off the wall. At that point, then that's going to overtake. Yeah, well, it does matter though. It it absolutely matters because any any time you're trying to wall jump from wall A to wall B with nothing below you to land on, you have to have that buffer of time where you're pushing the opposite direction but you're not falling off yet because otherwise you. Well, I guess if you just hit the jump button, you get shot in that direction, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you get a quick move in that direction, but you're not always going to want a quick move. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I suppose maybe it depends more on the style of the game. Or it could just be an option that you disable, you know? I mean, that's always the best option. Any game that has a thousand options... Yeah, the game seems to be... Simple though. I think you would want to stick with the, the yeah, simplicity of it. Yeah, not not for this particular title, but you know, in the future, accessibility is is a huge thing. And, ooh, and doesn't get enough 
It doesn't get enough love. Things that should be toggleable and editable by the player often are not. For example, this is a tangent. I bought Final Fantasy VII Remake the other day, because it just came out on Steam. Uh, and in order to change the, the field of view and turn off the film grain and turn off the motion blur, you have to use the dev console, which requires you to mod the game. Just let people turn off motion blur and film grain. Just let people turn it off. Just let people turn it off. Like, I think what I'm trying to say is let people turn it off if they want to turn it off, you know? Have I, been, have I made my point yet? I don't know. Whew. Because the first thing I do when I play a game is I go into the options menu and I turn off motion blur because nobody... there. I don't want less information. In the name of cinematics. I knew that was going to happen. I could somehow foresee my death happening and I just continued to press left. I just continue to hold it. I'm about to show you up in a minute here. Are you going to play? I don't know. Is it fun? Looks fun enough. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Certainly not breaking any uh, any barriers. It's not breaking any um, breaking any new ground. No, actually, I can't play this because I've never even played Meat Boy to any real extent. So um, it's is a platformer. It's a platformer with wall riding. Oh well, then I've played that a lot recently. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all I've played. Not all, but you know. Oh my god! I don't have the key to that though. You don't. So we have to actually go the top way here. So I don't think we can. No, you, oh, you can't, can't grab, grab on the side of that. So, oh, okay. Good luck getting back. Oh, I guess you can get up. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's very easy. Look. It is very easy. I just freaking did it. Okay, that one's slow moving. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna bother to get the coin. Yeah. Oh. Hey, it's an enemy. Yeah. It's our first we have, enemy. Do we have a gun? We don't have any weapons. I did see that there was a weapon in the in the in the tutorial or oh, yeah? in the not the tutorial in the the diagram the controller diagram. Oh right. Okay, um, so maybe we actually have to just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how okay. you do it then. Yep. That's yep. exactly what you're supposed to do. Right? Or you can probably just jump over I mean, this, is, this is presented in a way that there's pretty much no way, other way or... To, <sighs> fuck. Oh, yeah. There's no way to not do it like that. Yeah. yeah, the thing is, here, I tried to... I wanted to jump off of the side quickly by pressing left, right? But it had a delay on it, so right. I jumped off after I wanted to. So here's right. a case where we actually want to dismount from... Wait, why didn't it go? Wait, why isn't it going off now? Are we close enough to it? Wait, what's going on? You have to be under it. I made it go off without being under it, I think, though. Before. I don't think just by so. jumping on it. I thought I made it go off by just jumping on it. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe you do have to be... Maybe you have to be right under it. What if okay, you just we'll do uh, it like that. What if you just dash in and hop over the, the hazard? Can you do that? Or do you have to kill him in order to progress? We're going to kill him. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. And then we're going to do this really exciting thing where... Oh, look at how exciting that was! Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, we have to go down there. Oh, that was kind of cool. Okay. I'm sure you can get crushed. Yeah, I'm sure you can get crushed in the air. Although because if those spikes touch you, the player will die. Not the spikes, if you stand on top of the block and get pushed into the ceiling. But as far as oversights go, oh yeah, yeah. It's not the biggest oversight. It it happens. It happens, believe okay. it or not. So we press this button. Oh, I have to wait for the elevator to go oh. all the way back. I don't like that. Yeah, you'd be amazed how many edge cases there are. Most of programming is just edge cases. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know, I I was okay. I was really uh, ballsy. Like, oh wait. Oh, you, oh I know you, you do. Have to, yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to jump on him. <laughs> okay. It keeps. Okay, that did not behave how weird. I thought it would. Uh, is that gonna actually just land on? Oh, it lands on nothing. It lands on the pit. Okay, that is not at all how I expected that to behave. It works our advantage. That but... implies there's some sort of solid ground that you can't see just off screen. Yeah. At least in that spot, maybe just for that purpose. Maybe it was getting glitches or something with that. I don't know. I would just put some solid ground there then, just right above. Right above yeah. the pit. Just throw some solid ground in there so it looks like what's happening is, yeah. is supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, it looks um, it looks like, like it's unintentional. All right, Even so we'll open not. the door here. Because I imagine the room size is... Basically, just what you can see, you know. Uh, the fall through. Guess how you fall through? You just press down. You just press down. <sighs> All right. All right. It might be, might not be enough of a gate. We go, we like to program fall through down and jump. And well, we've had one game that has fall through. I suppose it depends so whether well two the two, two yeah technically because <laughs> the one we're working on but well no three because Game Soup had an infernal racket left. <gasps> yeah, but did that have fall through in it? I don't think so. 
I don't think it, I think oh. we purposely didn't put any fall through oh, it because we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Why, we we don't want. It was hard yeah, enough teaching stupid. players yeah. how to do fall through. You'd be surprised how <sighs> few players actually understand fall through. I always am surprised. I always am surprised. I yeah. I feel like I'm. I, I fundamentally don't understand the tastes of players. Sometimes you know. Like they're they're people who just haven't played Metal Slug or any Castlevania game or or or. I mean, yeah. I mean. There's, it, yeah, there's so many games that have fall through. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. It's just, it's second nature to us who played, yeah, thousands you know, of video games. It, it's just a numbers game, though. So many platformers. Because, yeah, any any game, yeah. any game that is 2D or platformer could have something to do with fall through. It's just a matter of finding a game that happens to have it implemented. Because many don't, but a lot do. So just play enough games and you'll come across one, right? But well, also, I think I think like half of our playtesters couldn't figure out how to fall through in our in our. Yeah, that was surprising. So yeah, we didn't want to put it as a. We didn't want a micro game to require you to have to use fall through because a micro game is a game you have to learn how to play in ten seconds or less. So we could not teach players to fall through in that. So we did not put fall through in the game soup version of Inferno Racket because that was the ten second version of that game. Actually, that is a that is an interesting, uh, an interesting pathway into the discussion of difficulty, because that is difficulty. You know, not knowing what to do or how to do it precisely is. Still makes the game difficult, even if it's obvious to us. And you know, the thing with developers is they always make the games harder, so much harder than it probably should be because they're yeah, the ones playing. Yeah, because they're the ones playing it over and over again, and so you, you lose me, complete sight of it. Yeah, yeah I'm like, oh, everybody needs to fall through. Yeah. In fact, at at the end of Game Soup, in the very last level, right? Uh, I was I was adamantly against having some sort of message that popped up because people were mashing the button. Joe, Joe set me straight. You know, he was the one who had perspective and said, we need to put a message there to tell people not to mash the button because people were just mashing it. Because to me, I had play tested that game a thousand, a thousand times in a thousand different ways. And yeah. to me, I, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, they were, yeah, almost everybody that yeah. got to that level was, was mashing the button when they first got there. And that is difficulty. Even if, even if I didn't mean for it to happen, it, it was a, I, I shouldn't say failure on, 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 on our part anyway, because it's, <sighs> Well, we wound up doing the right thing in the end. Yeah, yeah. We I put I, a big flashing message on the screen. If they were mashing the button, we programmed it. Only if they were mashing the button yeah. for three seconds plus, they were pressing the A button more than like three times per second. For three seconds, we would flash in with an exclamation point, stop mashing the button. Yeah. See, that's <laughs> the, the problem with that is it's yet just another hold one of those, button. those edge cases, you know? Yeah. And the problem, with, the problem with programming is you can't spend time... Do you realize how annoying this jump is? Yeah, it is. It and seems in really order difficult. To gain, in order to gain a chance at doing the jump, I need to... I need to do the whole... I need to do the whole bottom jump multiple times. I don't know. I mean, I've played Super Meat Boy, and I've played hard platformers, but th this is kind of particularly annoying in my hey, opinion. Have we? It's just one annoying jump. Like, yeah. am I supposed to just like watch where the character's foot is and then adjust for it each time? Probably. I guess I'll do that. I imagine, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. On, I got it on that <laughs> try. All right. It was when the character's foot was at the. I can't even describe it. The yeah, bottom yeah, yeah. of that little black spot where you saw me jump from exactly that pixel is where you're supposed to fucking jump. You from. almost did an, a Mega Man X Iceless Heart percent. Yeah, it was almost so, that precise. Stage three, we completed stage three. I think that's enough to yeah. show you guys what what this game is about. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's similar to Meat Boy. That a creator described it as a game that was similar to Meat Boy, and I would agree with that assessment. And yeah. we've assessed it in that manner throughout this episode. I was trying to sound smart there. I didn't sound that smart. And we appreciate you watching. Um, let us know what you thought about the game. You can play it for free, and also let us know what you think about changing the name of Wild Game Appears to Game Design Critique, or something similar to that. I mean, Ed thought of, thought of it in a couple minutes, so we might be able to come up with something like that. But we're changing it to something more descriptive than a Wild Game Appears, because that can kind of mean anything. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. We like you. <laughs>